All right. Well, if you're joining us, then we're about to show you senior night, and I'll try to keep up with the names for you. So our first senior is Natalie Carballo. So that's Natalie Carballo. Lara Kusich. She's an exchange student. So Catherine and Salvador Ramos have taken her in as an exchange student. Our next senior is Breck Alexander. Breck is the son of Ryan and Brett Alexander. That's Breck Alexander. Tyler Cox. Tyler Cox is our next senior. Seven siblings. Next senior is Nate Dacus. Parents David and Renee Dacus. So that's senior Nate Dacus. And our next senior to be recognized is Ethan Ventress. Parents Jamie Sizer and Ventress.
Our next senior to be recognized is Dylan Warden. Parents, Mark and Kelly Warden. That's our boy basketball seniors. That's our manager, Laura Lee Salazar. Parents, Frank and Penny Salazar. Seven brothers and sisters. Alexandra Valdez, parent Maria Valdez. Next senior is a cheerleader, Karis Fielder. Actually, there's Emily.
And our last senior cheerleader, Ella Russell. Of Sean and Shauna Russell. That'll conclude our senior night. We're so thankful for our seniors and all that they do for us, all the time they've put in, all the good games we've been able to enjoy and watch, be a part of. So we're proud for that. So we'll get ready for our girls basketball coming up here in about 15 minutes. And so you can stay on the stream and we'll get going here in just a few. In about 15 minutes, we'll get you set up for this Friday night action here in Minko America as we'll watch the Lady Bulldogs and Bulldogs take on the Dibble Demons. And so that'll be what's up for us this evening. So we'll see you here in about 15 minutes and we'll get you going and we'll get to watch some good games tonight.
All right, well, welcome back. We got about three minutes until this game's going to get started. And we'll introduce you to the starters. We'll have the national anthem. And then we'll get going with some Lady Bulldog action. We're glad that you have joined us on MikoBulldogs.tv. We got to honor our seniors this evening and thank them for all the time and effort they've put in for the Bulldog athletics. And so it's good to recognize them tonight. We appreciate their leadership and uh, all that they do for our school and the parents an opportunity to be with their kiddos out there on the court and recognize them together as they get closer to the final games, final regular season games. And so it's good to be on the court to be able to recognize them. So we're glad you've joined us. We're going to get you set up here. Uh, the Lady Bulldogs getting ready for district play. We have one more game on Tuesday in the regular season, and then playoffs begin next Friday right here in Minko. We'll be playing Riverside. The boys and girls will be playing Riverside in districts. And then win or lose, the next week for regionals will be at Ampo. And so play that second game at Ampo. And how it works in the playoffs for basketball is you have to lose two before you're out. And so you just got to keep winning to move on. And so I think the girls are playing pretty well. They've been, they are ranked number 20. I didn't look today to see what the updated rankings, that was last week. Uh, but I bet they're pretty close to the same. Uh, the only the person or the one team in the uh, the region to kind of watch for in the in the area is uh, Ampo, and so that's who they'll probably have to play first off when it comes to regionals. But that'll be coming up soon. And so basically, what it'll work look like is districts here in Miko, uh, regionals that first night Thursday night at Ampo, Friday and Saturday will be at Cashin, which is no easy place to play at all. And then if you can make it past regionals, you get to go to area the next weekend, and area would be at Hennessy for the Lady Bulldogs and Bulldogs. And so we'll see if that is the case, if they're able to do it. So we're going to do the national anthem. That was for the state of the Oklahoma, and now our national anthem.
There's our national anthem. And we'll get you going on these starting lineups. And so first it'll be the Dibble Lady Demons. And that'll be the first lineup we'll be announcing. So first off is number three, Kaylee Clanton. Number four, Liv Green. Number 10, Macy Merrick. Number 24, Tinley Mize. And number 25, Hallie McGehe. And now, your Lady Bulldogs. Number one, Natalie Carballo. Number two, Ashlyn Price. Number 11, Lara Kusic. Number four, Emily Mock. And number 22, Emily Martinez. So have the three seniors starting for the Lady Bulldogs. They'll get the nod from Coach Brummel. And they'll get to start this game off. And we'll see what the Lady Bulldogs can bring tonight. They've been playing a little better and a little better. And hopefully they're being able to hit their stride here as we get close to the playoffs. So we'll see if they're going to be able to make that happen. And so we'll get this first quarter kicked off. Emily Martinez to jump against Haley McGehe. Looks like we have three referees tonight. We started out with one the last game. And so we have all of them. And here goes the jump. It's gonna, Martinez is going to handle it, get it back to Mock. She's going to push it around to Kusic, to Mock, to Carballo. Looking for Martinez in the paint. Mock will take the three. Yes, ma'am. And she knocks it down for the first three of the game. And there's a steal from Mock. And she's going to get it down to Martinez. Back to Mock. She's going to take it just a little long. Kusic fights for the rebound, gets it, bounces it out to Price. Back to Carballo. She's going to reset with Mock. Ball's kind of sticking. Want to see that ball move around. Working four on the outside. Having one cut in. Martinez working the paint. Not an awful idea from Carballo. Just got to make the right pass. So there's a little messy turnover. And that's the one thing they got to watch. So love this full court press. They're going to stick in it. Had a lot of good... Momentum from that the last game, and it's worked so far. And there's another steal. Mock knocks it away. Kusic comes up with it. Carballo over to Martinez, left hand. Little strong. Gets the rebound, tries again with the left, and misses that one. She's usually very solid with her left hands. And there's Mock in the right place. And a foul called on Martinez as she takes that one a little stronger. And she's going to be rewarded with a free throw. Usually that left hand is excellent for Emily Martinez, and it just didn't work there. In the last game, I thought she had a little trouble with that. Uh, most of the time, she's money with that left hand, so I'd like to see her find that again. But good effort so far with the defense in this full court press. So Sir Dibble wanted to talk about it a little bit as they uh, turned it over two consecutive times. Hadn't even got it past half court yet. So coach wanted to talk about that. And so far the Bulldogs doing what they would like to do, just got to sink it. So Martinez will get a couple of opportunities here at the stripe. See if she can get a couple to fall in. She gets the first one.
So here comes the second one. Ooh, misses it a little long. Pokes it away. She gets it. Falls to the ground. Throws it up. Goes out of bounds. Martinez almost with a good play there. And so Dibble's being very careless with the ball right now. Miko will take advantage of that. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. And she's going to try to dribble out of it. Gets a little bit of a push off. Gets it over half court line. And Dibble's going to try to set this up. Got it down low. Nice block by Kusich. Lotta. It's so not in my house. And fight for the tie ball by Ashlyn Price. And that'll go the Lady Demons way. But number 11, Miss Kusich said, no, I don't think so. Got her from behind and swatted her. A deep pass, able to get it in. Ooh, almost traveled there, but got the pass off. Trying to find anything, and there's nothing as the Bulldogs are in a man-to-man -man defense, and they are all the way out to the half court with that. And there's a runner that's kind of tossed up hard. Rebound by Ashlyn Price. She's going to get it out to Mock. Mock's going to push it up the court. And she's going to set it up. Back to Mock. Lady Demons are in a 2-3 zone. Trying to find Martinez down low. There's a good-looking pass from Price. As she is fouled from behind, Martinez. Excellent, excellent block out there, or whatever you want to call that. As she just envelops her behind her. Able to get the pass. Price throws it right to her. The nice bounce pass. and Foul from behind. <coughs> she gets the first one. And gets the second. She's, she's got her. Three points so far. <coughs> they finally find it out. They're able to make their way up the court. Carballo tries to take the charge. No call. No block or charge on that one. So it goes out of bounds and we go to the Bulldogs. And a one-man press there back to this 2-3 zone. Got it to Martinez on the elbow. She's going to take it in. Way high off the glass. Gets her own rebound. Tries again. Going to call a block on that one. And it looks like we're going to get a foul. That'll be on Price. Ashlyn Price. That'll be the first foul. First team foul. And they immediately get in this full court press. Got her trapped in the corner. She finds her way out. Carballo tried to poke it away, but it doesn't work. And they finally get it down the court. They haven't really set anything up yet. We'll see what they try to run. That girl down low with Martinez. McGay, hey, she can, looks like she can play some ball. She's got some good size. And there's a drive into the lane and she's gonna be fouled. And that's going to be on Price. And so that will be her second foul. Second team foul. And this is Kaylee Clinton. And she knocks down the first one. And knocks down both. So going to push it up the court. Got it to Mock. Long pass from Carballo. And called to travel. <coughs> Couple sloppy turnovers so far. But Dibble has done the same thing. Well, that's some smarts by there by Emily Mock. She could have ran it down. Maybe could have saved it. Instead, she... Screened off the Dibble player and allowed it to go out of bounds. 
And so that's going to go the Lady Bulldogs' way. She'll take the three, a little off to the right. Rebounded by Dibble, and she's going to push it up the court. That's Clanton. Oh, but she stopped her dribble and got lucky. And there's a three-pointer. Missed everything. There's a putback that missed everything. Ball in the air. Martinez comes up with it. Caitlin Newhouse came in for Ashlyn Price. And there's a smart move right there as she was on her back. And so went ahead and pulled up and got the foul on her. That's on number 10. Macy Merrick, that's her first foul, third team foul on the Dibble Lady Demons. Ball goes out of bound, poked away. That's number one, Megan Faber. Dibble's got a little size to them, but they haven't taken care of the ball very well. And there's an example of that from the Lady Bulldogs as well. So trying to find something open in the lane, nothing there. Martinez pokes it away, and she's going to take off down the court, gets to her right hand, puts up the layup, makes the layup. Active hands by Emily Martinez, able to come away with it. Mott couldn't get there in time to cut it off. And there's another bad pass. And it's a little sloppy to begin with. The ball's getting thrown around everywhere, definitely by Dibble, but... Miko hasn't taken care of it too great yet. If they have, they probably have a few more points on the scoreboard. Pass over to Carballo. She'll get her first shot at a three and knocks it down. And she has been on fire as of late. She's becoming very consistent at the three-point line. And once again, she knocks it down for three. So there's Dibble caught again into the corner. Nowhere to go. Mock knocks it away, stays with the Lady Demons. Dibble gets it up. And now they're going to set up. Miko stays in a man-to-man. -man. Lane Ray came in. For Kusich, and so Lane Ray's in here, and there's a drive to the basket. And a foul. So Emily Mock is going to pick up her first foul. That's the third team foul. Both teams have three team fouls. As we roll down to two minutes and 41 seconds left in this first quarter, this is Kaylee Clanton that's going to be up to shoot these free throws, and she's going to miss that first one. So number 10 back in, Macy Merrick. Or no, she has a seat. And Clanton's going to get the second one. And this game goes to 11-3. to three. So Mock pushes it up here. Emily Martinez out here going to try to make a move. Gets it to Carballo. Going to have to kind of reset here. Cross-court pass to Newhouse. She's ready for the three. Takes it and makes it. Lane Ray wanted her to cut across the court, and she stayed at the three-point line. Lane Ray throws it all the way across the court, and Caitlin Newhouse was ready to put it down, and she did, and she knocks that three down no problem. Once again, tough for Dibble to get it up the court, but they do again. Down to two minutes. So on the court, we've got Carballo, Mock, Ray, Martinez, and Newhouse. Ray almost comes away with a tie ball there. No walk called there. I guess it got it knocked out. Good block out by Martinez. And a good clear as she pushes it up the court. It's going to get to Newhouse. She's got a chance. And she just throws it up a little too strong. Thought she was going to get fouled. And Ray knocks it out of bounds. So this Clanton's been pushing up the court. They're going to get it wide open down low. Didn't see it. And finally, they're able to make it. That's number four, Liv Green, able to get that bucket. And gets it a little closer as we roll down to a minute 15. 
Martinez back to Mock. Mock will take a three. She's going to miss it all. Salazar's going to come in, it looks like. And so she's going to finally come into the game. Comes in for Car Carballo. Kusic also comes in for the Lady Bulldogs. And so we got Ray, Kusic, Newhouse, Salazar, and Mock. Mock knocks it away. Good defense there, good anticipation. Kind of inside, outside there, looking for the lane. You can see they really want to drive. Ooh, could have been a foul called, but not called on Salazar. And she was able to make it. And that was Liv Green able to knock that down. Down to 45 seconds. Newhouse all the way into the lane. No foul call, misses it all. I think she kind of wanted it. She almost got a foul on herself. Nice hands there by Kusic. As she was able to knock that away, and as they ran after it, got fouled by Green. And so that will be her, I believe, her second foul. That's her second foul. Down to 25 seconds. Dibble's got four team fouls. Bulldogs with three team fouls. Nobody in foul trouble, really. Down to 15 seconds. 10 seconds. There's a three. A little early in that clock with 10 seconds left. So there'll be seven seconds to give the Dibble Lady Demons an opportunity here. Let's see if they can get a bucket. Newhouse knocks it away. Mox got three seconds. Goes all the way to the rim, misses it, didn't want to get a charge. And so that will be the end of our first quarter with the Lady Bulldogs 14 and the Lady Demons 7. And so I would say if I was going to define that first quarter, I think I would define that just a tad sloppy. I don't know what it is for that. I don't know if defenses are playing well, but just a little sloppy. Quite a few turnovers both sides, a little few crazy shots here and there. Um, but ultimately, the defense for the Lady Bulldogs is excellent so far. That full court press, they're really starting to come together there and know what they want to do and how they want to push those players into certain positions to hope to get that turnover. And it's starting to work, and it's worked quite a few times today. So I think you want to continue with that. You want to continue to have that. That good defense, that full court press, continue to cause those turnovers, make a play a little too fast, make a play in a hurry, and maybe they'll continue to make those mistakes. But you got to turn those into some points. And so hopefully we can see that. And then take care of the ball. Uh, they're playing that 2-3 zone. And so attack the middle there. Get that ball in the middle and go from there. Have some cutters in and out, you know, get it into the lane, pop it back out for an open shot. And so... Uh, move that ball side to side. Make that zone move so you can get it in the move, into the middle. So we'll see what the Lady Bulldogs can come up with here. And so to start this quarter, we got Newhouse, Carballo, Ray, Kusich, and Martinez. And there's Ray with the jumper, just a little short. Newhouse gets it, puts it off the bank, and the bank is open. Give her two points right there, and she's got five. Good job by Lane Ray as she gets in good position there to fall back and get that knock away. There's Martinez down the lane. Oh, just misses the easy shot. Maybe it got bumped. <coughs> so staying in this man-to-man -man once they get across the half court. Kusic kind of pokes it out. Clanton is definitely the main ball handler, number three for the Lady Demons of Dibble. There's another drive to the basket off the side of the backboard. Closed it off well. Used the baseline as your help. Ray got the rebound, but there's an extra step. 
And so it's going to turn the ball back over to him. So good job on defense. Good job securing the rebound. But just got a little sloppy, and you turn the ball back over to him. And so 25 is going to come back in. That is Hallie McGehey. And so she's going to – there's Ray, knocks it out of bounds. Martinez and Ray, Salazar will do it too. Carballo will also do it. They'll get active hands. They'll try to get that hand on the ball, try to get in that passing lane and knock it away. That will pay big dividends, I think, as you get into playoff action. If you can play defense that way, they've got enough people that can score the basketball. So if you can cause a lot of turnovers, you should be able to win some games. Martinez able to get the block right there. Ray fights two demons and is able to come away with it. Carballo shoots it up to Martinez. She's going to go strong with the left hand, misses it. Coos is strong with the right hand, and she knocks it down as she's fouled on the shot. And so count the basket for Lada Kusic. And she makes it, and she'll get an opportunity for one more. And she misses it just off to the left. Finally picks up the ball there. And trying to push it up the court. She's going to find herself in the lane. She's going to find herself fouled. She's a pretty good little ball handler right there, number three. That's Clanton from Dibble. So Carballo with her first foul on that one. Nothing doing inside. Martinez shut her down. And another good block out and another good rebound. Going to get it up to Newhouse, and she's going to push it up the court. And she makes a little move, just, just a little too fast. Misses the shot. Just slow down a tad, just a little bit, and I bet you can make that go in. There's a free throw jumper that's going to be a little long. Martinez pulls that rebound down. We're down to under six minutes left in this half. Ooh, a little up and under, scooped it up and in for Emily Martinez as we go to 20 to seven. And I believe she's got five, maybe seven, I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember. Carballo pokes that out. Yeah, she's got seven. There's Mock again. She comes right back off of the bench and able to poke it out. Boy, she's been active, hasn't she? She's knocked a lot of balls out of bounds or getting a steal, anticipating those passing lanes. Looks like they're going to go to a 3-2 zone here, change it up, and see what the Lady Demons can do That They're going to switch up their play. There she is. There's the steal for Mock, and she's going to push it up the court. She's going to take a nice little layup there, and she's going to put it in. Great job by Emily Mock as she gets a bucket there, and she's got five points, and that's enough for Dibble. They're going to have to call a timeout. And they're going to call a full timeout here as the Lady Bulldogs extend this lead from 14 to 7, and they have scored eight straight points to open up the second quarter. And they are doing exactly what you want out of these Lady Bulldogs as they definitely continue to play good defense, solid defense, get in those passing lanes. Full court press is just making it hard. And able to come up with some turnovers here, and they've turned them into buckets. That's what kind of talked about. And then you can see as they're being a little more patient on offense and working that ball around, trying to get it inside. And Martinez is starting to do what she can do. That girl can flat out score when she gets going. And she is beginning to get there. So Carvalho's got three. Mox got five. Newhouse has five. Martinez has seven. Ray doesn't have anything yet. She's the other one on the court. But she's been doing her job on the defensive end and on the rebounding. So continue to take care of the ball. And those points will come for the Lady Bulldogs. Stay in this full court press. 
Nice job by Carballo. Gets it. She's blocked. Fights for the rebound. Clanton gets it and pushes it up the court. Blocked by Martinez. Pushed up to Mock. Slides it over to Carballo. She's going to take the left hand, not fouled, but Martinez gets the rebound. She's fouled. And she'll get a couple more free throws. Martinez has got a two or three blocks this evening, and we've got ahead a couple others as well. Ray's had one. Kusich has had one. And so good hustle to get back. Missed the layup, but able to get the rebound and fouled from behind. And she misses it just to the right. And so we've got four minutes, 48 seconds left in this first half. She gets the second one. Keep making those free throws. Want to make a good percentage there. We're finally able to get it back. Carballo's there. Good job shutting that down. Still able to try to get that trap. Doesn't work. Gets it all the way to the lane. That's going to be a foul as she kind of swats at that one. You can swat at the little girls and get it, but the big girl is a little tougher. And so Martinez will get her first foul of the game. But that is team foul number five. The Lady Demons have 16 fouls. Misses the first one. So this is Megan Faber, number one. And so she'll get one more opportunity at the strike. And she makes it. So the Lady Bulldogs push it up quickly up the court. She's going to back it out. We roll down to four minutes and 20 seconds left in this first half. Got it inside. Nice little dump pass to Martinez. It's going to be blocked. I'd like to see her go up a little bit stronger there. As she uh, backed off just a little bit, quit looking for the foul. Just go up strong, and it'll happen. Nice fight for the ball. But I believe a foul is going to be called before Carballo makes the shot. And that's going to be on Dibble. So that's going to be on Kaylee Clanton. That'll be her first foul as Martinez and Clanton fight for that ball. And Clayton ended up fouling her. And so we're into one and one as Dibble has seven team fouls, and we're in the bonus. So get him one and one here. Got to make the first to get the second, and she does just that. Puts up the second one. Misses it all. <laughs> Went from swishing it to missing it. I guess it happens, right? It happens. So back to this full court press. I mean, you know what they want to do. They want to get it back to number three. Oh, she falls to the ground, but still able to get that ball out, not turn it over. There's... Shot off to the right. There's a rebound and a putback and a miss. Martinez fights for it, and it's going to be a jump ball. So stays with the Lady Demons. Going to be in this. Oh, Carballo knocks it away. It's going to go out of bounds, so back to Dibble. Once again, active hands. Continue to find their way into the passing lane. Continue to have active hands, knocking it out. Nothing easy for the Lady Demons because the Bulldog defense. So in this kind of 3-2 zone, there's some active hands. Newhouse knocks it out of her hand. Mock comes up with it, and she's going to be fouled by number four, Liv Green. That's her third foul. Eight-team foul, so she's going to have to be replaced. Number 23 is going to come in. That's Kaylee Hager that comes in the game for the Dibble Demons. And Mock will get the free throw opportunity. And she misses it long. And Salazar comes up with the rebound, gets it to Mock. Carballo take a wide open three. Oh, just a little long. 
Newhouse in the thick of it, just misses it. Laney Harris is in as well. So we've got Carballo, Harris, Mock, Salazar, and Newhouse with three minutes and 20 seconds. And it looks like Laney Harris, as she comes in, is going to get herself on the scoreboard. And she's going to have a foul. That's the sixth team foul. As we roll down to three minutes and 15 seconds left in the second quarter. Carballo once again almost knocks it away. Down low. And Harris is going to get her second one quickly. Just got in the wrong spot there as Salazar comes out. She's got to get in front and not from behind. Got a front, you want to front her, you want to get on the front end. And so just missed that one. That's her second foul. It is the seventh team foul, so both teams in the bonus now. And this is Faber. She misses it long. And here comes the second opportunity, and she knocks that one down. Once again, the Lady Bulldogs push it up the court quickly. Carballo gets in the lane, pops it out. Nothing there. Nice patience by Mock. They're going to move it around. Salazar looking for something. Going to have to reset. Figure out which way you want to go. See if you can get the offense to happen. Throws it long to Carballo. Newhouse goes to the corner. And she picks up that back foot and be a travel. They were nice and patient there, but got a little impatient. Or impatient, I guess, is the right word. Back to this full court press. There's Harris able to knock it away. Saves it to Carballo. She puts it up and in. What a play by Laney Harris as she knocks it away and saves it right to Carballo as she's going out of bounds and able to get the easy layup. And looks like it was stepped on the out of bounds line. And so that will go to the Lady Bulldogs. As we go to two minutes and 25 seconds left in this first half. So Newhouse, Carballo, Mock, Salazar, and Harris in for the Lady Bulldogs. The Lady Demons have stayed in this 2-3 zone the whole first half. There's Carballo with a quick three. Ooh, just a little long, almost made that one. Good looking shot. And Dibble does it again, throws it a little high and another turnover on the Lady Demons. It seems like all their passes have been just a tad high on their turnovers. A little too much oomph on them. See how patient the Bulldogs can be. You don't want that ball to stick. Stick means you're either dribbling it or you're just holding it. And the defense can just stand still. And in this zone, that's not what you want to do. There's Harris. Goes up strong, and she's going to be fouled. They try to get it into Salazar, got poked away. Harris is at the right spot at the right time. She goes up strong, and she is fouled. That's number 25, Haley McGahey. That's her first foul. And Laney Harris will get two free throws and misses it just to the right. A little flat, get a little under it. Looks like Price is going to come in for Newhouse. And Kusich is waiting on board for Harris to come in. She's coming in for the shooter. So a minute 50, and she gets the second one. A better looking shot there by Laney Harris, and she gets on the board, not just in fouls, but now she's got a point. And so good job by, the, by Laney Harris, number five, coming in and get some good action there off the bench. So we've got Mock and Price, Carballo, Kusich, and Salazar. And there's drive to the lane, nothing happening. Kusich shut it down. There's a three, missed everything, rebounded by the Lady Demons. And they're going to try to set up again. Kusich says it again, not in my house. Oh, but Dibble able to come up with the turnover. And that was number one, Faber able to put it in. Unfortunate there, but good defense there by Kusich. As she gets another block, and so we're down to a minute. And the Lady Bulldogs are going to have to run some offense here. Be patient, find which. Find what you found last time. That's what you want. 
So over to Price to Mock. Going to hit it over to Carballo. Is there some screens? Down low to Salazar. Three on her. Nowhere to go. And turns the ball over. 46 seconds. Clanton's going to push it up the court. And there's Kusich with the rebound. Good defense by Price. Mock's going to bring it up the court, and she's going to pull it back with 33 seconds left on the clock. I think you'd want to get the last shot here. Over to Price, over to Mock, and she's going to hold it and look for somebody. We'll see when they want to go. Down to 20 seconds, up 27-11. There's to Salazar to Mock, 15 seconds. Back to Price, back to Mock. Carballo, nine seconds. Going to have to make your move now. Eight. There's the good pass to Mock. She'll take the three. Ooh, just a little long. And that will be the end of the first half as your Lady Bulldogs are ahead 27 to 11. So a good first half of defense allowed seven points in the first quarter and only four points in the second quarter. So the Bulldog defense has been fantastic this evening. Very active hands, a lot of turnovers, blocking shots, a good press. And so they're playing a real well-rounded game on defense. On offense, took care of the ball a little bit better there. Scored 14 the first quarter, 13 that quarter. Uh, but I didn't think it was quite as sloppy. And so played a little bit better and got to the rim, made some free throws, made some easier shots. Really, to be honest, they hit some threes in the first quarter, and those threes didn't fall in the second quarter. If they would have fell, we'd see a much bigger lead right now. But, hey, you're right where you want to be as the Lady Bulldogs are 27 and the Lady Demons are 11. And so we'll come back and get you ready for this, the second half, get you ready for the third quarter here in about seven minutes or so. And so we'll catch you here in just a little bit for the second half.
Well, we've got about a minute before we get started here in the second half. Get ready for this third quarter. We'll see if the Lady Bulldogs can continue to build on this lead as they have a 27 to 11 lead as they head into the third quarter. Really a lot of things have worked right. Just a few shots have not fell in. So maybe a few shots can fall in. They could even build a bigger Defense has been fantastic, so we'll see if they keep that defense going. As they've been able to cause a whole bunch of turnovers. They've been able to cause uh, there, and that's going to be a foul. I think Salazar's going to get that one. And it is. It's on Raiden Salazar. And she's going to have her first foul. So that's the first team foul of the half as those reset every half. Back into the full court press. Trying to figure out. There's, looks like they're starting to figure this thing out a little bit better as they talked in halftime. And a good patience there by Faber as she didn't turn it over. And it looks like the Lady Dogs are going to be in a – in that 3-2 zone. Going to call a foul. Thought he might call a travel there. But he's going to get Martinez. And that will be her second foul. Second team foul. That's going to be just out of bounds. Try to get inside there. Salazar again fighting away. Doesn't come up with it. Caballo gets in the middle of it. Finally, we got a jump ball. And they're getting after it once. Man, I'm telling you, Salazar makes things happen. And she loves to get into the thick of it. She ain't afraid to get in to, to put her business in there, is she? Block from Mock from behind. Good job by Salazar standing her ground, staying tall. Bad pass, Carballo knocks it away. Couldn't come up with it. So that'll go to the Lady Demons. And you can see the Lady Demons are trying to get it inside. They're really making an approach to do that. There's a three-pointer, missed. Salazar rebound and fought for. And jump ball called. So that'll go to the Lady Bulldogs. And the Demons will come out in a little bit of pressure. Just a little man pressure. A little ball pressure, that's it. A lot of contact there, nothing called. Martinez knocks it away. Salazar comes up with it. She's going to throw it up, misses it. Martinez gets it and puts it in. So give her another two points. And this lead goes to 20 and another turnover. Mock gets it, goes under, keeps dribbling. He's going to come all the way back out to set up. As we go under five minutes here in the third quarter. Back to Newhouse. She'll take the open three and splash. Nothing but the bottom of the net. As she knocks it down, and they go up 34 to 11. And there's a foul called. And that'll be on Salazar. That'll be her second foul. Third team foul. No team fouls on Dibble at the moment. Clanton gets it. She's immediately surrounded by Bulldogs. Throws it up. Newhouse trying to get in the way. Nice little nifty move there by Dibble. That was Faber. She didn't get the charge. Gets around Newhouse. And she was set up ready for it, and they'll reset. We're down to four minutes and 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Oh, 
Martinez fights it away, comes up with it, gets it to Carballo. Over to Salazar, out to Carballo. Yes, ma'am. Carballo knocks it down, and she's got eight. Martinez gets it. She'll get the easy layup. And it looks like we've got a timeout called as it is 39 to 11. And so 30-second timeout here. And the Lady Dogs doing exactly what they want as they come out in the third quarter. Have not let them score at all. And the Lady Bulldogs have scored 12, and that's what we were talking about. Can we see the threes go down? Can the turnovers turn into points quickly? And that's what's happening right here. And this blowout is just getting bigger. As it was a 16-point lead. And this is just blown up. We're getting close to a 30-point lead here in just a moment. So no pressure this time. Back into this 3-2 zone. Want to trap in the corner, is that what this is for? And that's exactly what happens right there. Mock comes up with it in the passing lane. Salazar, have a seat. Carballo's going to find herself in the lane, pop it out to Newhouse, and she just misses it. Harris fights for it. And it's going to stay with the dogs as it falls off of the Dibble Lady Demon's hand there. I believe it was Faber. Well, I thought Mock almost stepped over the line before she threw it. Cross court pass to Newhouse. Back to Carballo. She's going to get in the lane, pop it out to Mock. She'll shoot it. She'll miss it just short. Carballo trying to, oh, and she does. She almost had it a couple times, and she gets it that time. So the first with two minutes and 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Cross court back to Mock. Over to Newhouse. Dibble has stayed in this 2-3 zone. Looking for something to lane. There's Ray. She puts it up. Ooh, almost. Man, I like her shots. Just not falling for her at the moment. Knocked out of bounds from Dibble, so that'll stay with the Lady Bulldogs, and we're down to a minute 51. I don't know what her percentage is this year. But it's a pretty good one on the three points percentage. And there's Harris with a steal. Throws it up to Carballo. She's going to get an easy layup, and she puts it in. 46 to 13 with a minute 15 left in this third quarter. Staying in this 3-2 zone. The 3-2 zone is created for the trap. There's a free throw jumper miss. Price rebounds it, gets it over to Ray, who gets it up to Carballo. We're under a minute. Forty seconds left.
Good job by Ray helping out. She was working hard on Harris, and Harris was trying to push back. And Ray saw where it was coming and when it was coming, and she was able to knock it out of bounds as we're down to 29 seconds. Nowhere to go. Finally gets it over Harris. That's Faber, and she's able to put it in. Boy, that was a tough pass. Harris was working hard on that defensive sequence. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Over to Kusich. She gets to the lane. She's going to try. Left. Six to 15, 46 to 15, that's right. So Dibble scored seven points in the first quarter, four points in the second quarter, and four points in the third quarter. If that's not dominant defense, then I don't know what dominant defense is. They are just playing excellent defense, not allowing Dibble to do anything that they want to do. It's hard to get it up the court. If they do get it up the court, the defense is all the way out onto the ball. It's hard to pass. They've got their hands in the passing lanes. Uh, they're knocking it away. If they do finally try to get a shot, they're getting their shot blocked. I mean, everything is coming super hard for these Lady Demons because the Lady Bulldogs are just locked down on defense. And because of that, they've been able to put some shots in this quarter. It was 27 to 11. And so that'll show you how many points they put on the board that quarter as they scored 19. So they scored 14, 13, and 19 in, this, in these three quarters. So a good third quarter, which is going to allow their starters to maybe have a seat. They might be done for the rest of this game, and you want to keep them healthy as you work yourself towards the playoffs, which is just next Friday. So we're glad that you've joined us here at Mink at MikoBulldogs.tv and able to watch these games with us on this Friday night. And so far, the Lady Bulldogs have dominated as we get into this fourth quarter. And there was a quick foul. That foul was called on. I didn't see. I don't know what that, well, I don't know what happened. The scoreboard took it down too quick. I didn't see it. <laughs> Price. <laughs> and so uh, Faber is able to get that point, and so that moves them up to 17. So Price, Brothers, Ray, Harris, and Kusich in four. The Lady Bulldogs. Kusich is going to take it to the left hand. Throw it over to Harris. She's going to look for the lane. She's going to go up strong. She was blocked. <coughs> Fell down awkwardly. Looks like she's all right. Ray, once again, knocks it away, but goes to the dibble. There's a three-pointer long. Harris comes up with the rebound. Over to Price, up to Brothers, and she'll push it up the court. Over to Ray. Oh, and she saw it too late. Should have just taken the layup, but saw it too late. And so that goes out of bounds on the Lady Bulldogs. It goes to Dibble. <coughs> Couple more substitutions here. Harris is going to go out. And I believe that is, if I got the right names, that's Journey Cake. Yes, Paisley Journey Cake. So three, the three-two zone. Price comes away with a steal. Brothers is going to try to make a left-hander, and she's fouled. Hits the ground hard, so she's going to get herself a couple opportunities at the stripe. 
So foul on double zero. Haley Busby. This is Morgan Brothers with a couple of free throw opportunities right here. Just misses it just a tad short. Long there. She was short on the first one, long on the second one. Just got to find the in-between there. Kusic knocks it away. Still active hands. So back to the Lady Bulldogs. Five minutes, 30 seconds. As the Bulldogs did exactly what they wanted to do this evening. Nated it from the tip, won the tip, and it's been their game ever since. Carballo will take the three. Misses short. Rebound by Busby. Knocked away by Brothers from behind. She knocks it into the stands. Woke up some of the fans over there if they were sleeping. Down low, Kusich knocks it away. There's Journey Cake with the steal. Price has got it, trying to make her way up the court. Gets it over to Brothers. Back to Price, she'll take the three. Yes! And the senior knocks it down. And she's got her first three points of the evening. Ashlyn Price makes the three. There's a shot from Green, able to get that bucket. Over to Brothers, she's gonna pump fake it. Try to get to Carballo, knocked away. And Yesenia Ramirez, I'm gonna go for it. I feel like that's the right one, with Yesenia. Yesenia Ramirez, number 30's coming in. So we've got Price, Journey Cake, Kusic, Ramirez and Brothers in for the Lady Bulldogs. Throws it over to Brothers. She's wide open. She's going to step into it. Too long. Can't quite find her rhythm, but she runs down the rebound at half court. Good looking jumper for Paisley Journey Cake. Knocks it down with some confidence right there. The mid range jumper. Good defense there by Kusic, shuts it down. Good job by Journey Kate getting in the way there as well. Brothers goes into the passing lane, she takes it, goes for the easy layup and puts it in. And that gives her two points. So everybody's scored. We'll see if Ramirez can get one in the bucket. And Forgan tried to go into the lane. She got tripped up by Brothers, I believe. So Brothers has got her first foul, just the fourth team foul. 
Only one Dibble Demons. We got three minutes and 30 seconds left in this game. Was ready to swat that three point. Good job by Ramirez coming out there. Clanton goes all the way to the goal. And Kusic with another block. That's her third, I think, block of the game. Every time in the right spot, no fouling on it. She's able to get her hand on it and knock it away. There's a three pointer. That doesn't make it. Fight for the rebound. On the ground, we're going to call a jump ball, and it's going to go to the Lady Bulldogs. Three minutes left in this game. Down to Journey Cake, over to Ramirez. She's going to make the move. Looking to pass it. She does. She gets it to Kusic, and she's fouled from behind. So that'll be a foul on the floor as it's only the second team foul. The foul was called on number 10. Well, once again, we've got another game on Tuesday. After Tuesday, next Friday is our district matchup. We'll start the playoffs as uh, the Miko Lady Bulldogs and Bulldogs will play Riverside for districts. As we roll down to 2 minutes 30 seconds, Brothers throws it off Journey Cake's head. Somehow, Journey Cake comes up with it, gets it back to Price. She fakes it, gets it to Journey Cake, throws the jumper. She's blocked. A fight for the ball and another jump ball, which go to Dibble. And so we'll play here in Minko against Riverside for the first round of playoff action in districts. And then the next week will be regionals after that. So next Friday is districts. The next Thursday after that will be regionals at Ampo. And after that Thursday, Friday and Saturday of regionals, if you make it to that, will be at Cashin. And so they'll be playing at Cashin to see if you can make your way into the area tournament, which is in Hennessy. They got a brand new basketball gym up at Hennessy, and so be able to go. There's a nice pass from Price up to Journey Cake. Throws it up, misses it. Brothers comes up with it, misses it. And Dibble's going to come up with that rebound. Ramirez knocks it away. A fight for the ball, and it's a jump ball, which will go back to the Bulldogs. And so the hope in playoffs is it's a – it's a double elimination tournament, tournament until you get to state. And so you got to lose twice to get out. And so we'll see what these Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs will do. Lady Bulldogs are playing much better here recently. The Bulldogs have definitely been playing better here recently. Nice, nice job by Yesenia Ramirez. She comes behind, knocks it away. Goes to the Demons, but no quit in her with one minute, 30 seconds. As they have a big old lead, but she's getting some playing time, so she's going to give her effort. Love it. Morgan Brothers with the rebound. She's going to get it to Journey Cake. She's going to take off. Back to Brothers. She looked like going to try a spin move. Didn't. Oh, Ramirez is tied up, which goes back to Dibble. Well, we got a minute and 14 left. Lady Bulldogs 53, the Lady Demons 22. Just dominated from start to finish by the Lady Bulldogs. It's been fun to watch this one. We will try to get you to the boys' game. Last, last week our internet went down. And so they assured me that they have tried harder to get some internet. There's a basket made by number 15, Bella Green. And so for the boys' game, we'll have to stop this stream and then get the other stream going. There's Journey Cake. Paisley Journey Cake gets her a couple more points. 
She's got her four. There's a block shot for Brothers. And a tie ball, which will go back to the Bulldogs. And so we'll stop this stream here in a little bit after this game is over. We recap. And they showed, told me that the Internet should be faster this week. So it should work. So we should be able to watch the boys game this week and see what they can do against Dibble uh, this evening. So we're down to 30 seconds. Brothers throws it over to Price. She'll take a three. Oh, just misses it long. A fight for it. It was a walk, but not called. 20 seconds. Brothers tried to poke it away again. There's Ramirez, almost come up with it. There's a little jumper. Number 24, Tinley Mize. Two seconds. And that's the end of the game. So a good game here by the Lady Bulldogs. Dominated the whole game, and they're going to win the game 55 to 26. That's right, your Lady Bulldogs 55, your Dibble Lady Demons 26. So a great game as we get one game closer to the tournament, one game closer to the playoffs, one game closer to what really matters. And so I love that the Bulldogs are playing really well here the last few games, uh, the Lady Bulldogs. And so I will stop the stream. I have to stop it and get a stream started for the boys game. And so you can jump back on. So everybody cross their fingers, say a few prayers that the, that the Internet will continue to run well and we'll get that stream going for the second game. So thanks for joining us for the Lady Bulldogs game as they win 55-26. You can pick it back up here in a moment and we'll get to watch the boys game.